And for Fighting Irish Preview, I'm Phil Hauk, and what an exciting victory for the Fighting Irish tonight over Virginia Tech by a score of 32-29 uh, to 29 on a last second, last 20 seconds of the game uh, field goal, 48-yarder by Jonathan Doerr. Uh, we thought he might be part, a big part of this game, and he certainly was, although only one field goal attempt, but uh, he was perfect on that. Uh, and, and quarterbacks in, quarterbacks out. Uh, Jack Cohn started the game, was ineffective. Tyler Buckner came in, uh, got the running game going, uh, threw a touchdown pass, ran one in, and uh, actually gave the Irish the lead at halftime, 14-13, to 13, brought the Irish back, but then was ineffective in the third quarter, threw a couple of interceptions. Uh, and with four minutes left in the game, when uh, they had when Virginia Tech had gone up by eight points, Jack Cohn re-entered the game, and uh, Cohn cool and collected uh, is is how my uh, a, a colleague of mine uh, termed it, and took the Irish down the uh, the field. Uh, Irish are down by eight. Uh, he gets the uh, touchdown pass to uh, Avery Davis from four yards out. It was a 75-yard drive. And uh, the Irish also got the uh, a two-point uh, play uh, with a great play by Kevin Austin in the end zone on a play that Jack Cohn extended for the two-point play. And uh, so the Irish get it tied up. Uh, they get the stop on defense. And uh, with a minute and 25 seconds left, uh, Jack Cohn takes over again and gets the Irish into field goal position. Uh, and a crazy, crazy crowd tonight. But uh, Jonathan Doerr hits the 48-yarder, and the Irish uh, come away with a win. Uh, a couple of significant things besides the uh, the back and forth on the quarterback play tonight. Uh, John, or I should say, uh, Michael Mayer did not play tonight. Uh, he was a game time decision, and and so was not able to to uh, contribute. Uh, that's obviously critical. Uh, to the Irish offense, but the Irish found a way. Kyron Williams with probably his best game of the year. Uh, nine nine catches, or I should say nine, 19 rushes, 74 yards. Uh, Tyler Buckner had 12 rushes for 67 yards. The offensive line played pretty well. They gave up two sacks early uh, against Jack Cohn, but they kept their quarterbacks clean the rest of the night. I would ha have to say it was probably the best effort of the year uh, by the offensive line. So some good things happened here tonight. Uh, Tariq Bracey with an interception uh, and some timely uh, plays. It was a chippy game, uh, personal foul penalties. Uh, a pl one player on each team was uh, disqualified for targeting. And, and the, uh, as the teams were leaving the field, uh, we'll find out more about what exactly happened. But uh, coaches had to separate uh, both teams uh, to keep them uh, away from each other. Definitely a chippy game. Uh, a crowd that went crazy and a highly emotionally charged situation for all. Uh, Brian Kelly's comment post game: uh, "We're not perfect, but that's okay with me." And uh, the Irish aren't perfect; uh, they're actually five and one. But they are five and one after this exciting victory here tonight, uh, and they go into a bye week with a little momentum, I think, from winning a big game on the road, where ultimately. Uh, Virginia Tech was favored to win this game, so Brian Kelly comes away with a victory. Uh, they go into USC uh, at home in two weeks. Uh, an exciting game here tonight in uh, in Blacksburg. Uh, I'm sure everyone really enjoyed watching it. And for Fighting Irish Preview, I'll see you. Uh, well, I guess I'll see you in a couple weeks uh, for the USC game. And for Fighting Irish Preview, I am Phil Hauk.